Happy Friday, guys, and welcome back to another installment of Mr. Eric Reads. Now, whether you're on Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube, as you know, it matters not to me because you'll always hear this. Thank you. Let's continue to promote literacy, even though we're on Christmas break, spring break, summer break. I don't know. It's been a whole day without work, and I just, my head's all out of whack. But thank you again for joining me. Tonight, we're going to go back to Miss Lucille Calandra's classic collection of tales about an old lady. And this one, because it's the winter time, and it's time to start thinking and hoping, crossing our fingers for some snow, there was a cold lady who swallowed some snow. Lucille Calandro, right here on Mr. Eric Reads. Continue to share videos that you enjoy. Continue to tell your friends to join me. I'm here all week. And the week after that, and the week after that, and yeah, you get the point. All week. Here we go. Blum, 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 blum. There was a cold lady who swallowed some snow. I don't know why she swallowed some snow. Perhaps you know? Gobble, 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 gobble. There was a cold lady who swallowed a pipe. Now, she wasn't the type to gulp down a pipe. She swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. Tickle, tickle, tingle, tingle. Now, we don't know why she swallowed the snow. Perhaps you know? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Now, there was an old lady, a cold lady, who swallowed some coal. What was her goal when she swallowed that coal? Turns out that she swallowed the coal to keep her pipes glow. She swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. Now, I don't know why she swallowed the snow, but I'm waiting because perhaps you know. but she seems to be enjoying it. There was a cold lady who swallowed a hat. Imagine that, a black brimmed hat. She swallowed the hat before she froze. She swallowed the coal to keep her pipes glow. She swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. I don't know why she swallowed the snow. And again, perhaps you know? Crunch, crunch, crack. There was a cold lady who swallowed a stick, a long brown branch. What a pick. She swallowed the stick to push down the snow. She swallowed the hat before she froze. She swallowed the coal to keep her pipes glow. She swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from ten layers of snow. I don't know why she swallowed the snow. Perhaps you know. There was a cold lady who swallowed a scarf, a long striped scarf, and then she tried not to barf. <laughs> she swallowed the scarf because it was so cold. 
She swallowed the stick to push down the snow. She swallowed the hat before she froze, and she swallowed the coal to keep her pipes glow. Then she swallowed the pipe to warm her ten toes that tickled and tingled from layers of snow. I don't know why she swallowed the snow. Perhaps you know? Now this cold lady had had quite enough, so she thought, and she thought, and came up with a plan. She hiccuped twice and out popped. You know what it is? You guessed it. You guys are so smart. It was a snowman. The end. Again, guys, Lucille Calandros, there was a cold lady who swallowed some snow right here on Mr. Eric Reads. Thank you for joining me, guys. Have a wonderful, relaxing, refreshing, peaceful, whatever, Friday night. Have a wonderful Saturday. Please come back again because I'll have another book right here on Mr. Eric Reads.